Plants are great, but looking after them, that's not so great. Um, so I decided to look at trying to automate this process in some way um, so that it would look after itself. And this is just my video documenting where I am with that process. Uh, I'd like to take you through the parts involved in this project to start with um, and the bits that, that I chose. So the brains of the operation um, is um, Wemos D1. Um, you could go with a Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, but I decided to go with the Wemos, which is kind of somewhat in between. It's a microcontroller, and um, the advantage of this is that it's got uh, Wi-Fi on board, so you can kind of turn the plant into an Internet of Things. The next most important bit when looking after, I suppose, a plant is actually having a water pump um, to actually pump water uh, onto the plant when it's when it's dry. So this is the pump that I use for that. Um, it's a five volt pump and that's handy because it um, operates on the same voltage as the Wemos board. Um, the next thing that I needed was a relay to drive that pump um, in order to turn it on and off. Um, I chose this one because it stacks really nicely on the Wemos board um, and you can see that in the demo later. The next part, uh, the next part here we have is um, an ultrasonic module. This is not necessary but it's convenient to check the water reservoir um, so that you don't run the pump when the water reservoir is empty. Uh, the next item here is a soil uh, humidity um, detector. Um, essentially that's a soil moisture, can be seen as a soil moisture sense sensor and all that does is it, is it measures um, conductivity in the soil. Um, the soil is more conductive when it's moist less conductive when it's dry um, and that will um, you can use obviously the microcontroller then to turn on the pump and water the plant. Um, the last step in looking at automating, completely automating I suppose the plant is that during the winter if, if it's um, in, um, this plant is indoors so if it's not getting enough sunlight, um, I'd like to turn on a light then at night as well to provide the plant with a little bit more light on top of what it's already getting. And in order to turn that on and off, we have a, um, a Sonos, um, which is basically an inline um, power relay, again running the, a the ESP8266. And that is cap um, that's got a relay in it and it's capable of switching on 220 voltage um, that's for the grow light so basically you've two separate systems you've got the watering system and then you've got the grow light which is on a separate system both of those can communicate over um, uh, we'll say a protocol like MQTT um, and they can both be controlled from that one uh, Wemos module okay so this is the system actually all wired up here I'll just go through the parts um, again um, and how they're wired up in the system. Um, essentially you've got the Wemos board here on the bottom um, and the one of the advantages of the Wemos board is they're stackable. So you've got the Wemos board here on the bottom which is the brains of the operation. Um, there's one other component uh, that came with that Wemos board which is a DHT11 which is a temperature humidity sensor. Um, while not essential you can um, read the temperature and humidity of the air around it and report that back as well. Um, and on top of that is the relay which is driving the 5 volt pump which is sitting here in the reservoir and coming out of the 5 volt pump we have a um, a pipe then that essentially can uh, that the pump can pump the water into the plant um, the pump is essentially then controlled by this um, the moisture sensor and um, the soil moisture sensor which gets pushed into the plant and then um, it uh, is sending the readings back to the Wemos uh, ESP8266 board. Um, the other piece that's up here is the um, essentially what is essentially a radar. So it will it's got an an echo and a trigger um, function into it. It sends a sound signal out of the trigger, bounces off the water, returns it. 
um, and then uh, the time it takes for that to be returned is calculated into a distance um, so we're able to measure the level of water left in the reservoir um, and that's essentially it so the the logic um, when I plug this in that it will go through is um, I'll just put the soil moisture sensor in there it will check the soil moisture sensor if it's below a certain threshold a certain percentage um, it will then uh, check that there's enough water in the reservoir if there is the pump will turn on and it will continue watering until that threshold has been reached or the reservoir goes below a certain um, a certain level um, and then it will just basically keep repeating that um, until um, until it's actually fully watered so let's plug that in and see where we go um, so the code will fire up and I think the soil in this is already too moist there we go so now I've pulled the sensor out so it thinks that the um, the plant is dry and once I plug the moisture sensor back into it it will turn off and that's essentially it and it, as I said it will keep doing that until the so, uh, the plant is been watered or the reservoir is empty. Uh, the grow light is also using um, a ESP8266 um, and that's just an inline module there on the power line that you can see. It um, has a built-in relay capable of turning on and off mains voltage. Uh, the light can be controlled in three ways. Um, it can be set using a timer so you can have it come on at sunset and uh, go off at sunrise. Um, you can turn it on and off using an app from your phone over the internet um, or the way that I'm going to use it is that you can have the actual watering system uh, turn it on and off um, using code over a protocol like MQTT. Um, just for demonstration purposes I'll turn it on and off using the internet um, using an app on my phone. Um, so I've just triggered it on my phone um, and I can turn it back on and off. As I said, this will probably be hooked up using the actual um, controlled using the watering system and turn on and off using code. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. 